This video was made possible by the good folks at Next Level Racing. To purchase a cockpit setup like mine or any other Next Level Racing products, check out nextlevelracing.com. What's up guys, it's Mike for Sim Racing 604. Welcome back to Race Room Racing Experience. Excuse me, can't talk today. Welcome back to Race Room Racing Experience. We're going to do a 10 lap race at Autodraw Most. We are driving the Audi RS3 LMS. Uh, the reason for this video, or sort of the impetus, was the release, or soon release, of the Audi TCR 4i Racing. Very exciting addition to that sim. So it just made me think of it here in iRacing. We've had it, excuse me, here in Race Room. We have had the car for eh, a few months now at least. And uh, it's an excellent TCR car. So I figured, why not do a race? So we are starting 19th of 20 positions here for this 10 lap race. And this auto draw most, if you're not familiar with it, one of the newest cars for race room racing experience. I really love the track. It's got a really nice flow to it. Perfect for cars like these where top speed isn't that critical. And the TCR cars here in Race Room, very cool physics. Um, they're very front weight biased, so you got to be careful with your throttle application on corner exit. It does have a tendency to really just plow across the track, just understeers like crazy. Um, and then on corner entry, uh, you got to be mindful of your braking inputs, actually. Too much brakes will uh, kick the weight too far forward in an already forward weight biased car and the back end just has nothing to keep it planted and it just will go around on you so yeah very interesting physics here in these cars so started 19th right now running 17th and just about had 16th there So as mentioned, the braking, like I start really early and just kind of build, build, build on my braking. And that's kind of the best way I've found. Now I've got that 16th position. And this is one of the hardest corners, I think, in this sim. You require braking, but you have to start your braking so early in any car. It's off camber and uh, it just feels unnatural to start braking that early, but you have to. All right, back to 17th position here, at least temporarily. Might be able to sneak it on the outside here. Nope. Volkswagen nicely shut the door there. Only 10 laps to go here and starting so deep in the field, I will not win this race, but I might be able to get lucky and uh, sneak into the top 10. Full second separating me from the car ahead. Volkswagen thought about going up the inside line there. Beating me to that apex. Thought better of it though. And I think I see a familiar car up there. Mr. T. Coronel. So we've closed that one second gap now right on the tail of the uh, of the Hyundai. 
a rare sim racing appearance for Hyundai. Got a good launch out of the corner that time. Yeah, I lost the battle getting to that apex. Turning in these cars is insane, which is why you see me in the dirt so often. That initial turn in, it just responds instantly, but then the back half of the corner, you gotta be careful, like I said earlier, it does have a tendency to understeer for sure. We're coming into lap four of ten here. All right, up into 15th position now. Car immediately to my right. I need to be careful here. And he backed off, thankfully. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was just incorrect steering input. I just completely botched that corner. Thankfully, I held on to it. These cars, once they start to go around, they're very, very difficult to recover. You just kind of got to give it throttle and hope for the best. Not sure how that happened. I did not think I would get 14th in that corner, but uh, AI seemed to back off a little bit, so it turned out okay. Now into 13th. Top 10 was the goal. And we just may get it. I love the looks of that Civic. Really need the uh, road going version of that Civic in sim racing. I know it does exist for a set of course. I haven't found a really great version yet though. All right, not a great second sector for me there. Managed to get back in contention with this Civic here. So yeah, thoughts on the Audi coming to iRacing. Uh, again, very cool uh, car. Great choice by them. I don't know how many other TCR cars exist in iRacing. I, don't, I assume there's a series to plunk it into. But 
really. This and the Civic and the Alfa Romeo, probably my favorite TCR cars in race room. I don't know how these cars translate to iRacing. Whether the uh, same ranking holds true or even if those cars exist in iRacing. I don't know a lot about iRacing, as you're probably gathering. But not a bad choice to include the Audi. See if I can slingshot here. I managed to close the gap at least. Try some late braking here. Whoa. A little bit of bumping. I got bumped again. I don't feel that last one was my fault though, so. Let's say a little bit of give and take. First one was my fault, second one was his fault. All right, we're coming into lap seven of 10, so well over halfway done here, guys. So close to my goal of top 10. These two seem to be battling it out ahead of me in identical cars. Should work out nicely for me. Looks like the battle has been won by the 96. One gear too low there. I was lost to where I, or I was uh, confused as to where I was on the track. Ended up costing me a bunch of time. Down almost a full second on this lap, thanks to that boneheaded mistake. Will I be able to sneak this on the inside here? I think I might. We are in a shootout. You can see him just barely off to my left there. for some late breaking. I think I kept two wheels on the track that whole time. All right, so I'm at top 10. Just hoping to be inside the top 10. So let's see if we can get one more. We got uh, three laps to work with effectively. Cut the grass too aggressively there. Just about spun the car. Might have an opportunity for a pass here. He shut the door, but might have left it open just enough. 
guy behind me flashing his high beams, which is a race room staple. That's as close to AI emotion as you really get in sim racing. They flash their high beams when they're ready for the pass. All right, I am in position nine, so goal achieved. Might be able to sneak out one or two more positions here. Things seem to be going my way quite nicely. Mighty bump from behind there. I gotta stop doing that. The car is just, like I said earlier, just too responsive on corner entry. Lincoln Co. very aggressive on the inside of that final corner there. Should be enough to slow him down, allow me to get the pass. Need to be careful here. The Lincoln Co. is actually the newest addition. It only came in the WTCR 2019 Series 4 race room. Well, we're on the final lap here, guys. Down one gear this time, Mike, not two. And I understeered quite badly there, but uh, at least I didn't give up too much time. And you know, if I had 20 laps to work with, I think I could probably squeeze out a victory here. The guy in first place is within sight. Unfortunately, just kind of running out of time here. I want to get safely across the finish line. So I'll probably just hold the station. Oh, did I pass the Audi? Going to try for one last pass on the outside here. Got it. All right, so sixth position after starting 19. Not bad. Thank you guys very much for watching. This is a very fun race. Uh, congratulations to everyone in iRacing who's getting this uh, Audi TCR. I think it'll be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next time.